The young, undefeated charge from Leeds, Ivan Drago. Hopi Pride! <laughs> Uh, I might be only a young kid, but I've got an old head on young shoulders. I want to be one of the all-time great. From when, um, probably 18 months, one of the first presents I got as a kid was a pair of boxing gloves, so... I sort of think I was born into it in a way, so that's, that's all I can say. I've done it all my life. Definitely taught me a lot of discipline, you know. I think I was quite well behaved in school from when I did go when I was younger and just tried, just tried my best at school. I sort of um, I knew as soon as I got out of school, then, then I can go play and, and do what kids do. But for me, my playing was I wanted to go to the boxing gym. That's where sort of I had all my fun as a kid. And for me, I didn't see it as like, oh, you got to go do boxing. I wanted to go off my own back as, as well as being pushed into it. So I think that combination together has, has led me to, to where I am today. Before I went to school, as a young kid, get up and, and go running and, and do things to help me with my boxing. And then the minute I got out of school, it was straight to the boxing gym and I was there from, from three o'clock and I stay and watch all the older kids and I won't get home till eight o'clock every night. So I was, I was tired out by the time then. It was the same routine every day, Monday to Friday. I think I think I sort of become obsessed with it in a way, and and obviously I did have a lot of help with, with family taking me to and from the gym, and obviously they sacrificed their life as well as me because because I was all, always there, and and then maybe when when I did drop out of school when I was like 12, 13, from then on from 14, 15, I took it very serious. You know, I trained like a professional as an amateur two and three times a day, and it was just like all I ever wanted to do and. My, I set my goals from a young age and I just worked hard from that young age to get there. So, to me, I'm just still on the same journey. As people know, like I'm from the travelling community, so most of my parents and, and things never went to school and they drop out to go to work, so when I did drop out, sort of, supposedly to go to work with my dad, he sort of said, well, if you want to do that, you want to be a boxer in the future, then I'll support you all the way, so a big thanks to him, he, he, instead of going to work, he'd leave jobs early and take me to the boxing club and that, that was it, I'd, I'd get up, go run, go see a job with my dad and he'd take me to the gym maybe 10, 11 o'clock, come home, back to work with, with him and then back to the boxing club at the night time. So I was training two or three times a day from, from 15 but that's just, um, to me it wasn't a sacrifice because that's all I wanted to do. I remember winning, I think I won a European junior title in 2016. And then I was getting put in the paper saying that am I in Tokyo. So for me, I set that as a goal and sort of thought, right, as soon as I won, I cleared up that year, I thought I'm going to get on the team now and push towards a qualifier. And it was just a long, long wait before I even got an opportunity to get on the, on the GB team. And I thought, well, the amount of things that I've won, surely like they've, they've seen me enough, I've been down there enough, I can speed this process up a little bit. And it just kept dragging, dragging out, you know, and then, uh, I sat down and had a chat with my dad and my old amateur coach and um, sort of decided, well, by the times I do get onto the team and, and go for a, a qualifier, then, then it's going to be too late, so I'm going to miss the Olympics. That means me waiting until 2024, which now, it's probably not even going to be 2024, it could be 2025, 26, and that is how old, how old I'll be. I'll, I'll be. I'd have been 24, 25 before I'd have even turned pro. And uh, for me, I just think I can accomplish a lot in the pro game by I get to that age. Sometimes when you win, win a lot of stuff amateur, you, you don't get the recognition you deserve and you just sort of take one competition at a time and then forget about it really and move on to the next. So when I, was, when I turned over and obviously seen it as a new journey, then, then people started saying, well, well, look what he's accomplished as an amateur. So for then, until I turned professional, I didn't really look back at how good I'd done as an amateur. It was only till I turned pro, I looked and realised, well, yeah, I did, I did win nearly every title. At the end of the day, I've been, like, like I explained, I've done it all my life, so if they started boxing maybe 15, 16, and they wasn't taking it as serious as I was then, I've been training from, from no age, every day, learning, improving, so 
my, my, I believe that I'm just as experienced as them now and the likes of world class sparring I get from, like in the gym and Dave took me to America and, and everywhere I, I picked up these things a lot faster than, than someone else my age or even older would have. I'm, I'm not in this game to just be like a, like say a British champion and not knock an achievement but I, I want to be I want to be one of the all-time greats so if I am going to get there then I need to take these sort of fights at this sort of level and show how good I am when I do get in there and, and face these levels of opposition I don't only believe I should be boxing this opposition I should be beating them and, and doing it in style. Dave's a big help to that you know of his, of his knowledge of boxing and just the way he, he tells us sort of what to do like, like sort of a bit like a father figure to me you know as well as well as my dad he's told us that with me only being young I may not get the fights in what I would have had previously but a lot of other fighters haven't got the mentality I have to stay in the gym so they go off and do the bits of normal life and it sort of gives me time to as Dave would say close the gap on these fighters who maybe was in front of me now I've been staying in the gym for for the past year while the whole pandemic's been going on and I feel like I've improved loads and all the boys in the gym too and we've just been bringing each other on and I think on February 13th then you'll see a big improvement in me as well. The programme suits me a lot better you know I think um, like you said the amateur game sometimes you couldn't just box and, and box your way through the fight you had to just sort of go 100 mile an hour and, and throw as many shots as possible so now if anything I think the programme's a lot more, a lot more technical and I think you can sort of plan your way through the fights and, and I just think it suits me a lot better, you know, and I think as the rounds got on, I'll only get better. Fight camp obviously was, was definitely, I don't think it'll ever happen again, like you say, it was definitely one for the memory books, but um, performance-wise, I, I was happy with it, you know. Um, in my third fight, I sort of stepped out from the journeyman bracket straight away and fought someone who was coming to win, but I always knew that would suit me better, someone coming to win. It is what, what what I'm in this game for to, to fight them sort of people, and I think you might have thought he was going to bully me a little bit, but I think I showed that I can't just box and, and move, and I can I can sort of do it all. You know, I can fight on the inside, the outside, and I'm not going to let let the older opposition man handle me. That, and I'll prove that. Do you know what I mean? So, um, looking back, I was very happy with my for, uh, performance, and. And obviously Dave was over the moon, which is a big tick. I know if I get out the ring and he's not happy with me, then, then I'm not happy with myself. So All I know is he's from Leeds and he's 16 and 1. You know, um, Dave sent me um, across and said, um, do you know this kid? To be honest, I, I replied back to Dave, no. And uh, he said, well, this, this, is, this is who we're going to be fighting. And for me, I think some people say, oh, 3 and 0 and 16 and 1. That's a big step up, you know. And for me, I just take it in my stride, you know, I think. I'll, I'll prove on the night how good I am, you know, I'm, I'm going in here to, to put on a real performance, you know, I want to I wanna steal the show. I think I'm the next big thing to come from Leeds and I'll prove that, you know. Every fight I step up and obviously if it's, if it's a tough test on paper then, then you've got to see it as a, as a tough test. But um, I, I believe I'm, I'm going to put on a good performance, you know, I think, um, as I said before against the Johnny Phillips fight, that there's levels to boxing. and. I think that I will show I'm a level above Zahida thing. I can't complain, definitely where I've boxed in my first, well, first three fights. Some of the biggest shows, what's been put on by, uh, by Matchroom and Eddie, so. I think if, I, if I'm willing to take these fights that I've been taking and I keep putting on the performances, then that's why I keep getting put on these, these good shows, so hopefully bigger and better in the future. I think this, this is a, another six rounder and then I think this is my last six round, I'll um, step straight up to, to the eight rounds and I, I believe I'm, I'm not far off, off title level, you know, it's just about getting the rounds in but as far as skill wise, I believe I'm as good as anybody in Britain now, uh, sk skill and, and, box and boxing, but it's, it's just like you say, I'm still not getting carried away, I'm still, gonna, I'm still only young, I'm still going to get the rounds under my belts but when Dave and Eddie gives me the green light then I'm definitely ready to bring some belts back. I don't really know how to put it, you say, I just think they're going to look and think, think wow, who, who is this kid, you know, I think I'm going to put on one of them sort of performances, I'm going to make everyone stop and, and say, who is this kid, because that's, I believe that I'm going to put on a performance for them to say, this kid's special.